Hi folks, Mike here from Windy Ridge Garden Centre in Dunleary. Just a quick video this morning to show you the great range of grasses that we have in stock at the moment. Ornamental grasses over the last number of years have become increasingly popular and it's very easy to see why, as you can see from the great colour combination we have here behind me. So I'll just start by showing you some of the most popular lines. This one here is a steeper. This is steeper tenuous from a ponytails, a really airy grass with lovely straw-like flowers and that hold these into autumn and winter as well. This is perfect for the front of a border. If you combine this with the likes of this verbena, this is verbena bonariensis lollipop, really nice perennial which is just coming into flower there now. Great combinations for a very wild effect. Moving on to the likes of this Carex, this is Carex prairie fire, so a nice low growing evergreen grass which is compact. This is perfect again for the front of a border, nice fiery orange colours and these colours will only intensify as we move into autumn and winter in the colder nights and days. If you contrast this with the likes of the Japanese maple, this one here is a variety called Baihu, so the colours and the foliage works really well together. Moving on then to this one here, this is Imperata Red Baron, the Japanese blood grass. So a really nice two-tone effect on the foliage here. You see it starts off green and it really nice fiery tips of red maroon. This is a deciduous grass that so will have to be cut right back at the end of every season, but a really popular one for Japanese style planting and a fiery border. If you're looking for a grass for the shade, then look no further than this one. This is Opia Pogan Planus Capus Nigrescens, the Mondo grass. I plant this under the likes of some deciduous trees, like the Himalayan birch for example, with this really nice white stem against the dark foliage of the Opia Pogan. If you put in a few spring flowering bulbs like the Snowdrop or even the Dwarf Tete Tete, they'll come up for great combinations in the spring. Moving on, we have another two types of Carex here as well. So we have Carex Evergold in my left hand and Carex Everest in my right hand. So the Everest has a nice green and white streak to it and the Evergold, green and yellow foliage, variegated foliage on both of these. They hold this colour the whole year round. These are nice low growing compact grasses and they're perfect for pots. So if you combine these with some autumn winter cyclamen, put them outside your front door in pots and they'd be a lovely combination for the autumn winter. Next up, we have this fountain grass. This is Penicetum hamlin. Really nice, elegant grass. It gets its name from its arching foliage, the fountain effect. Nice bottle brush-like flowers come out on this as well. A lot of the Penicetums wouldn't be hardy, but this would be one of the main types, better type for the Irish market. Very popular in the last few years. So that's the lower growing grasses. Just moving on to some of the taller ones then. This one here, this is Miscanthus, Miscanthus sinensis male partus. So this grass eventually will stand to about five or six feet tall. Get the lovely veined effect on the foliage of this as well. Nice brown, fo brown flowers there just coming into flower, velvet in, in, in appearance as well. This is a clump forming grass, so that means that it's a very vigorous grass as well. So it gets bigger as it ages and it may need to be divided in many years to come. Lovely autumn oranges on the foliage of this one as well. Just moving on to these two types of grasses here. These are really two nice grasses, both millennials. These stand at about five or six foot tall when at maturity. They're nearly at this size already now. Clump forming grasses, they're brilliant for the back of a border. This one here on my right is Hydebrow, and this one is transparent. Especially Hydebrow has great autumn color, really nice fiery yellows and oranges in the autumn. If you combine that with the likes of this Hydrangea paniculata towards the front of the border, and the millennials towards the back, you get the great effect from the seed head against the white panicle flowers. They're lovely. And last but not least then, we have this fabulous grass here. This is the switchgrass, Panicum squale. Again, a clump forming grass, which is a warm season grass. So this really needs a bit of heat in the spring to rebound again. Lovely two-tone effect on the foliage, starting green, and then coming to the point of reds and purples. Really elegant purple seed heads on this one as well. Lovely, that's one of my favourite grasses now, very very popular one. The majority of these grasses would need a sunny position, very sunny location and very free draining ground. If your ground tends to be a bit heavy and holds on to a lot of moisture in the winter, you will need to dig in some horticultural grit and maybe some horticultural sand as well. Grasses as I say becoming really really popular, they work in a wide range of planting schemes. Very very, they're very undemanding plants, so they're lovely. So if you have any other questions folks, and don't hesitate to come down to Windy Ridge and we'll be here to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.